Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the question number 7 from exercise 10.3, chapter number 10 quadratic equations. In my previous videos, I've solved the examples and the questions from 1 to 6 from the exercise 10.3. If you have not watched this video, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin our video today, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. Question number 7 from exercise 10.3 chapter number 10 quadratic equation says the difference of squares of two numbers is 180. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Find the two numbers. So here they are saying us the difference of squares of two numbers is 180. There are two numbers. The one is a smaller number and the other is a larger number. So we have to find those two numbers where the square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. So first of all let us assume let the larger number b x let the smaller number b y okay so what is given here what is given in the question the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 the square of larger number minus the square of smaller number will give you the 180 okay so this is what is given x square minus y square will give you 180 okay we are taking dif the difference of larger number with the smaller number so that we get number that is 180 and also what they have given the square of smaller number is 8 times the larger number square of smaller number what is smaller number here it is y square square of smaller number is 8 times the larger number that is nothing but x so now let this be equation 1 and this be equation 2 now let us substitute the value of y square that is equal to 8x in equation 1 so write down substitute equation 2 in 1 square minus instead of y square we are going to write 8x is equal to 180. Now let us uh, send this 180 to the left hand side. So we will get x square minus 8x minus 180 is equal to 0. So now we have obtained a quadratic equation here. Now by using any of the three methods such as factorization, completing the square or by using a quadratic formula, we can find out the roots of this quadratic equation and then we can find out the larger number and the smaller number. Let us first compare this quadratic equation to the standard form of quadratic equation which is given by ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Now let us use the factorization method to find out the roots. So we have to find out the a, b and c value initially. So what is the a value that is the coefficient of x square is 1. Then coefficient of x is b that is equal to 8 and constant c is equal to 180. Splitting the middle term method, we, are, we will not consider the signs. We have to just take the a, b and c value. So we have to find out the product. So product is equal to a into c. Here a value is 1 and c is 180. So it is equal to 1 into 180 is 180 only. And now we are going to take difference since we sine of constant is minus. So we are taking difference else we would have taken sum. So difference should be equal to b that is nothing but 8. So we have to factorize 180 and obtain two factors such that the product will be 180 and the difference should be 8. So if you notice here 180 factors can be 18 into 10 which will give you 180 as the product and if you take 18 minus 10 when you take the difference you will get the result as 8 so this is how we are going to split the middle term 8 here as 18 minus 8 so let's substitute so x square so minus sign will remain as it is instead of 8 we are going to substitute 18 minus 10 minus 180 equal to 0 x will come here so you will get x square square minus 
18x minus and minus will become plus 10x minus 180 is equal to 0. Okay, so now let us take common between these two terms and these two terms. So here x is common between these two terms. So taking x outside, you will be left with x here, x minus 18. Then plus sign is here, so we'll take plus. Now 180 can be written as again 18 into 10. So in between these two terms, you can see the 10 is common. So let us take 10 outside. So we will be left with x minus 18 is equal to 0. So here you can observe that in the brackets x minus 18 and x minus 18 is again common which we are going to take outside. So x minus 18. So what will be left here? x plus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, so now let us equate each of these bracket to 0. So we will get x minus 18 is equal to 0 and x plus 10 is equal to 0. Now when x minus 18 is equal to 0, we can send this minus 18 to the right hand side. So we will obtain x is equal to 18 and when we send this plus 10 to the right hand side, we will get x is equal to minus 10. So we have got two values of x. So initially we had assumed x to be the larger number. Okay. So now let us see in both the cases what will be a smaller number b. So in case 1, when we take x as equal to 18, then a smaller number we have to find out. So using this equation 2, we will find out the smaller number. So we have here y square is equal to 8x. Okay, so let us substitute the value of x as 18. So we will get y square is equal to 8 into 18. So what is 8 into 18? y square is equal to 8 8 is 64 and 8 ones are 8 plus 6 will be 14. So it is 144. So now let us take square root on both the sides. So if you take square root, square root of y square is equal to plus or minus square root of 144. So the square root and square term will get cancelled. So we will be left with y is equal to 144 can be rewritten as plus or minus 12 into 12. Okay, so 12 into 12 is 144. So pairing of uh, number 12 is done. So this number 12 will come outside the square root. So you will get y is equal to plus or minus 12. Now in case 2, when x is equal to minus 10, use this equation 2 where y square is equal to 8x. Now substitute the value of x in that is equal to minus 10. So we will get y square is equal to 8 into minus 10 or y square is equal to minus 80. Now we have to take square root on both the sides. We cannot take a square root of a negative number. Okay, so the value x is equal to minus 10 is invalid. So we are going to just consider here when x is equal to 18, y is equal to plus or minus 12. Therefore, when larger number is equal to 18, here the smaller number will be equal to plus 12. And also when larger number is equal to 18, the smaller number will be minus 12. Okay, the larger number will be same. The smaller number can be plus 12 or minus 12. So this is how we solve this problem. If you have any doubts, you can please comment me in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number 8 from exercise 10.3, chapter number 10, quadratic equations. So till then, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.